Hey everyone, Nick Cubas from Modern Drummer here with a look into Joe Morello's follow-up to his iconic and influential book, Master Studies, appropriately called Master Studies 2. If you haven't gone into Master Studies or seen my previous video about it, it's a must-do especially if you want to tackle Master Studies 2. Joe has a very straightforward way about talking about his books. He gets right to the point, and even nods to the fact that all the potential is up to the reader. Like Master Studies, this is a workbook of material to use in developing your hands. Some of the exercises are very challenging to play and require slow, sensible, and accurate practice. Please be patient. In my teaching, I've given these exercises to my students and they have worked wonders. So with all that said, let's dive into Master Studies 2. In my video for the original Master Studies, I focused on modulating the exercises in order to create musical phrases. So for this video on Master Studies 2, I want to take a look at a more practice-based section of the book. Starting on page 43, this section of the book, simply titled Joe Fingers, goes into the world of developing speed and endurance, but most importantly, control. The first 10 exercises appeared in an article by Morello's teacher, George Lawrence Stone in the International Musician magazine over 50 years ago. The next 10 exercises are Morello's variations on Stone's ideas. Keeping that in mind, it's clear that these exercises are for refining technique and overall improvement. Not necessarily very musical without any content, but what also interests me is how Morello created his own variations on these exercises without removing their fundamental purpose. So I'm going to demonstrate how I was able to create my own variations on these exercises. The main differences between Stone's and Morello's exercises are A, the note values, with stones being made up mostly of eighth notes and Morello's eighth note triplets, and B, the accent pattern, with Morello's creating a bit more complicated melody. So keeping these factors in mind, I created my own example. The top line is grouped in quintuplets, with the accent pattern resolving and revolving around the groupings of five. The bottom line, like many of Stone's exercises, are 16th note triplet based. However, I superimposed the accent melody from the top line over it, creating a technical challenge of keeping the groupings of five straight when they're being played inside of the groupings of six. This takes the pattern to the next level and further develops technicality and control without losing sight of the original purpose of the exercise. I'd like to end this video with a few words from Morello himself about Master Studies 2. This book is meant to help further develop your facility, keep you in shape, and help you become aware of what your hands are doing and how they are working. How you use the technique is up to you. Good luck. Thank you for watching. I'm Nick Cubis with Modern Drummer. Stay passionate.